What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you on Polestar. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what I see coming next, especially with their earnings right around the corner and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So Polestar is currently up 4.29%, piggybacking off the broader market's positive momentum. GDP is coming out tomorrow. So today is going to be probably the last day that it's going to be reliant on the technicals plus the fear and greed index right now is still relatively high so it is at 77 so naturally it is propelling a lot of stocks higher unfortunately Polestar has been hit very hard over the last little bit and that is due to Lucid and Rivian's earnings that just came out which both did signal absolutely no growth in 2024 and I've been saying this time and time again when it comes down to 2024 Everyone is just caring about the future guidance, um, especially Polestar right now isn't profitable, um, so they'll have to give an update on that. But it's all going to come down to what is Polestar's 2024 targets. And so ultimately, and, and plus aside from all of that, though, Europe of all places is showing more of negative growth for EV sales. So they definitely do need to account for that. And hopefully that isn't really going to damage their bottom line. Plus, when it comes down to Polestar, Volvo taking a step back is very red flag-ish, if that makes sense. And even over and above that, though, Geely was anticipated to kind of step up and take Volvo's position. But there's been no official news whatsoever. There's been this news, which I believe was the last news that came out for Polestar. It just says that Polestar welcomes Geely's long-term commitment to his development and blah, blah, blah. Technically, there has been no commitment to show that Geely is doing this. This kind of news right here is just welcoming them, not actually saying that they committed. So Polestar, I think overall, as I've said in the past, they're very smart individuals. I have to give them that. But they're not business savvy because I have frequently compared Polestar to Lucid. Both sets of management are very smart. Are they business oriented? No, not one bit. So Polestar, when it comes down to their upcoming earnings, I do feel is going to cause a significant sell-off. And that is largely because of most likely they won't be giving the best guidance for 2024 because they've already had a difficult time entering into the States. And the state seems to be the only area other than maybe maybe China, that is having good growth on EV sales. So Polestar is going to be struggling most likely. And uh, so yeah, this definitely, I'm not really that optimistic about this upcoming earnings. And when it comes to revenue and earnings per share coming from analysts, they're not really that optimistic. So previously, almost about uh, a month ago, it was estimated based on three analysts that there was going to be 821.23 million in revenue. Now it's 756. So that's kind of the benchmark. And even when it comes to, for instance, earnings per share, it is estimated to be negative 15 cents. And that is based on three analysts. So ultimately, I do believe Polestar did say that it was going to be at the tail end of 2024, if I remember correctly, that is when they're going to be profitable. Um, but based on this, it is analysts are not in agreement with that. So we'll just have to wait and see. I might be wrong. Um, I do cover quite a lot of EVs. So Polestar might be 2025, if I remember correctly, um, or it could be. Uh, let me know your thoughts on when they did cite that they're going to be profitable. I, if I remember correctly, it was the tail end of 2024. But beside the point, moving on, though, looking at some data points, starting off with shorts. So shorts have really started to enter into Polestar, and I think it has to do with all the greatness associated to like Volvo taking a step back, Geely not really taking the initiative to really commit and take that position, or at least open. They might have done it behind the scenes. I haven't seen any transactions to justify that, but you never know, right? So right now, shorts are increasing about 42,000 shares. 9.33% of the free float is being shorted. 22.9 million shares overall are being shorted. And cost of borrow average is 184.37%. Normally, I say that I'm bringing this up as a benchmark and not because it's a squeeze play, but the metrics behind the scenes kind of does justify that this could be a squeeze if they come out with a good catalyst. Has to be a surprise catalyst. And I think right now, 
going into their upcoming earnings, there's such low expectations for Polestar. And I think a lot of people are anticipating for them just to massively miss on a lot of their metrics and plus future guidance that maybe that might be optimistic that shorts will in turn return some of their shares. But we'll just have to wait and see when it comes down to it. But moving on, though, looking at options, um, currently $37,000 in calls being purchased versus 3,200 in puts sentiment wise pretty evenly divided right now but then again with it at $1.50 it's not really giving that much kind of strike prices that a typical options investor could uh, typically use and plus aside from that though Polestar doesn't have weekly options only has monthly options so of the call options that are being purchased so far it is anticipated for it to be around $1.50 and looking at puts it's anticipated to be sub dollar by the end of uh, March or mid-March so March 15th so again not that much optimism when it comes down to that these are some of the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market above one hundred thousand dollars so big money still is not really interested in pulsar despite the discounted value. So I've brought up time and time again, the fact that Polestar is at a pretty substantial discount. So Polestar, the PS ratio is one. That is God damn insane. Even the future PS ratio is 0.7. So they there's no expectations for Polestar to do anything good in the foreseeable future. But a positive aspect of this with such low expectations, like I mentioned, if something does come out and is, is positive, then you are going to see a nice kind of rush of value investors. Because even looking on the technicals, I'll go over this in a little bit more detail. Looking at stochastic though, it is at 20 or more so around 15 so essentially that is very oversold so if there's a good piece of news that does come out then yes you will have a rush of value investors coming into Polestar as it stands right now it is at $1.46 so exactly on this pivot point right here so we'll just have to wait and see whether it does close above it or below it or whatever else as it stands so this S1 so $1.28 is going to be that very strong support and coincidentally that is roughly that 52 week and all-time low for Polestar. So we do know that this is a very strong support. Vice versa, $1.64 is going to be that next strong resistance point. Once again, dependent on what happens with this pivot point, if it closes above or below it. Moving on, looking at the technicals, lower percentile of the boiling band, well below a lot of the key pivotal moving averages, so the 15100 day moving averages. Stochastic is oversold. And plus, though, despite the oversold status, as of today, you do see a nice deviation. So white line above the red showing a underlying bullish sentiment minor but regardless still somewhat good number of retail investors oddly enough are getting out today and they've been kind of getting out constantly ever since it looks like the 29th of january and started to buy a little bit starting on the 21st but aside from that obviously they started to buy in on the 21st and that's when lucid and rivian had their horrific earnings so i think retail has lost quite a lot in just that couple days span but who knows let me know your thoughts on Polestar where do you see things going as far as a price point in my opinion I do feel even though I cover Polestar I really feel it's a discounted value but with Lucid and Rivian giving very similar crappy earnings I do feel that Polestar is going to follow the same suit so most likely you are going to see roughly around $1.20 potentially of course because looking over here you do see a dollar and then dollar 17 and then a dollar 28 so i feel like it is going to land on this s2 post earnings hopefully i'm wrong and they come out with some kick-ass news and just a lot and just surprise analysts of course so that does cause it to get back into the two dollar range and whatever else but i do feel just the market is already anticipating that they're going to miss so let me know your thoughts on Polestar. don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and when it comes down to Polestar, even though it is going up down sideways all over the place take advantage of this promo simply sign up for an account with mumu throw 100 dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so this is one of the best deals in the market only available until the 29th so take advantage of this while you can with all that said appreciate all of you watching